my name is Cody. I'm going to teach you a uh, stair layout today. First, you, uh, you have to measure from the bottom of the floor to the top of the second floor. And for this measurement right here, we're just going to use 45 and 3 quarters for our total rise. Um, what we do is we have to take 45 and 3 quarters and we have to divide it by 7 to find out how many unit rises we have. Um, after you divide 7 divided by 45, you have to take this 6.53, and this is how many steps you have. And since 0.53 doesn't make a whole step, you cancel it out, you just, you just uh, round it down to the nearest whole number, so it's 6 steps. Um, once you get your steps, you have to take your steps and you have to divide it by 45, pull it 7, 5 again to figure out how big the unit rise is. So 6, 5, 5, 45, 6, 7, 5. Um, once you get to the second, uh, the second decimal, um, you, can just, uh, you can just put 7.62. Uh, once you get to 7.62, you have to convert the decimal back into a fraction. So the closest uh, fraction to 0.62 is uh, 5 eighths. So you have 7 and 5 eighths. So that 7 and 5 eighths is this measurement from the top of this to the bottom of this. Right here is seven and five eighths. Um, once you get your seven and five eighths, you have to take. Um, yeah, you have to take. You have to figure out what the run, what the unit run is now. So um, in our class, we take seventeen and three quarters as our as our uh, as our, our unit rise and our unit run added together. So you got seventeen and three quarters, and it equals well, the equals a plus seven and five a's. Um, this is the formula you'll use to figure out what a is. A is considered your unit run. Um, so what you do is you subtract seven and five a's out of 17 and three quarters. So 17 and three quarters minus seven and five a's. Since uh, you, can't, you can't minus uh, two different types of fractions, you have to make the three quarters and you have to convert it into a five eighths. So you do six eighths and this six eighths is now, you can subtract from, from seven and five eighths now. So this would be 17 minus 7 is 10, and then 6 minus 5 is 1. So then you got 10 and 1 and 8 left. So this number right here and this number right here is now our unit run and unit rise. So if I were to take a framing square, which is this, I would hold seven and five eighths this way on this side and then for my run I have ten and one eighth so now I'm going to hold seven and five eighths on this side and I'm going to hold ten and eighth on this side and I'm going to hold it on this wood right here and step it off six five times actually and you're probably wondering why it's five times and not six, since we got six here. Um, um, this the, this top step right here for the second floor is considered one step. So you have to you have to subtract one off, and then you get five. You get five five steps are remaining. So you have seven steps, but you have you have uh, six steps, but you have five treads. Actually, laying out for the uh, for this one by twelve, you're gonna crown the board and. Um, what you want to look for crowning is if it, it, if it humps out kind of, 
So if it's humping out, then you want you want that part facing up. So when you lay the steps out, you want the crown end that goes like this, you want it facing up like this. So we're actually going to start on this side of the board. Um, these are step off gauges. Um, these um, they're, they're octagonal. Um, you clip them on here so that you, you have an exact met, uh, an exact reading for for your unit running unit rise. You have your step off gauges set. Um, you can start. You can start uh, marking. Um, you can start anywhere um, you want, um, but I like to start towards the beginning a little bit more. Um, you make your first mark, just like this. Mark that you have. This is one step out of five that you're supposed to make. Um, but with this first mark, um, you want it to run. You want to run the line all the way through. You want this line to run all the way through so you, can, you have a nice straight line to cut on when you cut it out. So I'm just going to continue and make the, uh, the next four and then, yeah. All right, um, after you have your five marked down, you want to take this, this final leg right here, after you make your fifth step, you want to make a line to go all the way through, so when you cut, you can cut a straight line. Um, and once you do that, you, uh, you have to hold your seven ace again, and you're right here to mark off the bottom of this step. So this is where this, this would be the this step if without the tread. Um, we have to come back. Um, we have a half inch tread, so we're going to take off half an inch and it will be right here. After you take off that half inch, you have to run it straight through. You need to hold it flush to the line. You want to be exact and you run it straight through. So this line you don't need to cut. You want to cut on this line, you want to cut on the outside of the line. So if you were to cut and you have your tread on, this is what it would look like. You take off the bottom and you'll cut it out. So you this this all this right here on the end is out. And this is what you have left over. This is where I took off a half inch. So if we had a half inch on, then this would be this would be down a little bit more, and this would be higher over here. Um, when you take off from ground level now, you have from the ground up to here is seven and five eighths, from here to here seven and five eighths, so on and so forth. Um, when, as I said, when you take off down there, you, you need from from the top of this tread to the top of this to be exactly the same. So if you're measuring. Uh, the seven and five eighths, you go seven and five eighths down with, and you have to add the tread to that. So you have to subtract for it also. And then once you put your tread in, all these will be exactly seven and five eighths.